what you expect. But hey, it's a new place. It's a new location. Anything can happen as well, especially when it comes to protection. All right. So as you promised, for I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future, ang sabi niya sa Jeremiah 29.11. But here is the vital question now. The vital question I have to ask you individually this night or tonight is this. Are you sure you are a child of God? And that's a very important question. Are you sure you are a child of God? Because those promises actually, if you apply it, is for the children of God. Alright? So you see the Bible is very clear that when, you know, sin entered the world, it separated us from Him. So, in Romans chapter 5 verse 12, now we have to listen to this because it's already coming from the Bible. This is not my explanation anymore. Ang sabi ng Romans chapter 5 verse 12, here is what the Word of God says. Wherefore, as by one man, sin entered into the world, and death, take note, death by sin, and so death passed upon all men, for that all have sinned. Walang exception. Ang sabi ng Biblia, all, lahat daw tayo nagkasala. Sino mo lang kasalanan dito? Ako lang? <laughs> Yung mga ganun ako. ako lang. Of course, I'm included with the word all. And you know why? Because that is our problem. Ang sabi ng Panginoon, the problem is the sin problem. You know? Romans 3.23, ang sabi ng Biblia, you for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Take note of the word short. Ang short na to, napaka ano eh. Napaka seryoso. Hindi lang yung kinapusto eh. Ang ibig sabihin ng short dito is you were separated from God. Your relationship was affected when sin entered the world. And we are all affected by sin. Alam natin yung story sa Garden of Eden, right? Adam and Eve were tempted by the devil. And that's where the entrance of sin in our planet Earth. That's why it says here, For all, walang exception, have sin and come short of the glory of God. And that problem, the Bible says, has a penalty. In Romans chapter 6, verse 23, ang sabi ng Biblia, For the wages or for the penalty of sin is death. For the penalty. So, ang problema ng kasalanan, meron pang penalty. So, doble-doble. Ang sinasabi ng salita ng Panginoon. Death here, of course, pertains to physical death. After 100 years, tayo lahat dito, wala na. Naniwala ba kayo doon? Sabi ko, after 100 years, pasang kasigurado. <laughs> Sino mo makakabot sa atin dito ng 150, right? That's why I said 100 years. And this is very serious. And we have to really address and see what the Word of God is trying to say to us. Death here pertains to physical death. All of us here will experience this. If the Lord will not come first, one of these days, makakalimutan na natin huminga. Yeah? Hebrews 9.27, ang sabi ng Biblia, Hebrews 9.27, And as it is appointed unto man, wants to die, but after this, the judgment. So, the Word of God, I'm not scaring you, I'm just trying to share to you the Word of God, because from the Word of God, we can glimpse or we can see our situation as an individual between, individually, a personal between you and the Lord. So, when it says, and after this, the judgment. Meaning to say that this life in planet Earth is not the end of life. Kasi sabi niya, and it is appointed unto man once to die, but after this is the judgment. So, tatsama yung sinasabi ng mga, sinasabi ng mga ninuno natin, hey, may buhay after this life. Alright? So, meaning, there's a life after our life here on earth. And death here does not only pertain to physical death because it is a sin, it pertains to spiritual death. Meaning to say that sin did not only affect us physically but also spiritually. 
it severe our relationship between you and God. It's because of sin. As I said in the Garden of Eden, you know, Adam and Eve heard the voice of the Lord. And the Bible says they hid themselves from the presence of God. Before they were not hiding their their their, their uh, themselves in the presence of God. Before sin. Kung hindi pa sila nagkasala, okay lang, di ba? Naked pa nga sila, walang hiyahiya. But when they committed the sin, the Bible says they hid themselves from God. Ibig sabihin, meron nang separation spiritually between God and God. And when the Bible says all, it's all right in, including us. And so, here is the good news. Kasi problem lahat yung pinag-usapan natin doon. Ah. Problem of sin, penalty of sin. But take note, there is a provision from God. And this is what the Bible says. For the penalty of sin, Romans 6.23, okay? For the penalty of sin is death. Physical, spiritual. But thank God for the next word. But. B-U-T. <laughs> but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Sinong hindi nakakilala sa atin? Sino si Jesus Christ? Every one of us at least knows Him, had knowledge, right? Alam natin yan eh. Merong Jesus Christ. It is not denied. History proves it that there was a Jesus Christ. And it says here, the wages of sin or the penalty of sin is death, but the gift, take note of the word gift, pagkarigalo, ano, libre. Kasi, take note of this, Jesus Christ went all the way to the cross. For what? Para magpakahiro? I don't think so. The Bible says in Romans chapter 5 verse 8, But God commended His love towards us, you and me, that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Kaya nung nasa cross, our sins were imputed to Him. And God hates sin. But Jesus Christ paid for that sin. And so when the Bible says, He commended His love toward us. That's what happened when He said, It is finished. Amen. It becomes a gift to us. But the gift of God is eternal life through the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank God Jesus paid the penalty of our sin problem. Now, here is the privilege. It's all alliterated. Kaya, na, na lakata yun lang nga pa eh. Na, ma, ma memorize no? And put it in our heart. Problem, no? Ang problema is basol. Kasalanan. Ang problema yan, may punishment. Ang punishment, kamatayan. And the Bible says there are only two destinations. It's either heaven what is the opposite of heaven according to the Bible? Luke chapter 16, hell. Huwag kayong manawala sa in-between. Kasi wala yung in-between sa mga. Alright? The Bible speaks for itself. I'm not saying it. So, what is the penalty of that sin? Death. And then, we go to that destination. But God so loved us that He gave us this provision. Jesus Christ died for our sins. And mind you, he did not remain on the grave. Kasi yung ginagawa natin itong gabi ito, this is just a waste of time. If the Lord Jesus Christ did not resurrect mm-hmm. on the third day. Yeah. Amen. Lahat ng founders ng religion, you talk about Buddha, you talk about Muhammad, you talk about the founder of Hinduism, Jesus Christ is the only founder of religion, which is Christianity. Yeah? 